Hello, this is Nile AFM tutorial number 4. By now you must have learned the basics of the AFM, how to prepare the instrument for imaging and how to successfully obtain an image. In this lesson you're going to learn how to rotate the scan direction, how to adjust the measurement plane, how to adjust the scanning speed and how to apply filters to the image and change the way data is being displayed. Before you proceed you will have to pass a practical quiz where you show that you can adequately prepare the instrument for imaging and obtain an image successfully. After the practical quiz, obtain the TGZ11 calibration grading from the toolbox, position it on the sample holder so that it doesn't align with the X and Y directions of the instrument as shown on the image and prepare for imaging. The TGZ11 calibration grading has tracks of period of 10 micrometers so now you know what to expect when you obtain an image. After you have approached the probe to the sample obtain a high-speed image. This is what your image should look like. As you can see the calibration grading steps are at an angle with the X and Y directions. We would like them to be perpendicular to the X direction. To achieve this we're going to use the rotation function where we are going to input the angle at which we would like to rotate the scan direction relative to the X direction of the instrument. To measure the angle between the X direction and the calibration steps you can use the measure angle function where you can draw the angle you want to measure. After that you can input the value at which you want to rotate the scan direction then obtain another image. Now the calibration grading steps are perpendicular to the X direction. However, if you see the single line scan, the signal seems to be rising. This is probably because the sample is inclined relative to the instrument surface and thus the measurement plane. Ideally, we would like the measurement plane to be parallel to the sample surface so that we obtain better images. We can achieve this by going to parameters, press more, locate in imaging options slope x and y. These are the angles at which we, we can rotate the measurement plane in the x and y directions. You can input them manually or you can press auto slope which the program would do automatically. After you do that press adjust slope and the slope should be adjusted. After you have changed the slope of the measurement plane, you are going to obtain images using different scan speeds. Go to Wizard, Imaging, and obtain a high speed image. Make note of how the parameters change with the speed of imaging. After you obtain a high speed image, obtain a medium speed image, and again make note of how the parameters changes. After you are done, you can compare both images and see how the scan speed affects these images. During and after imaging, you can apply filters to the images and change the way data is being displayed. You can find these on the top of the imaging windows. See how the image changes as I apply different filters? Learn what these mean and understand how they change the image. After you're done obtaining images where the calibration grading steps are perpendicular to the x-axis, rotate the scan direction so that they become perpendicular to the y-axis. Also, apply different filters and analyze how the images change. Do the images make sense after some filters are applied? To summarize this lesson, now you know how to rotate the scan direction, you know how to adjust the slope of the measurement plane so that it becomes parallel to the sample surface, you know how to adjust the scanning speed, and you know how to apply filters to the images. You're not done yet. Remember what you have to do before you leave the lab. 